My next guest up tonight from the new independent short film, Veneration, we have producer Frank Lisi, accompanied by actors. Who do we got here? We got Cameron Giordano and Mark Bukowski. Let's give him a hand. What's up, Frankie? What's up, John? How are you guys? Good, man. Thanks for having me back. You're very welcome. My mind's a little slow tonight. You gotta bear with me, but thank you. Yeah, they took a nice little whack in there. Oh, the man. Head. Just when I didn't think I could get any slower. <laughs> you see that? You need that like a hole in the head, right? It's all good. If I die tomorrow, I love you so, you know. Oh, for God know, forbid. God forbid. So you called wood. I thought wood is right. So what's going on? New short film. Talk about well, it. Well, it's a short film. We're releasing the short version of a... It's a film in development. It is a feature film. But uh, I was... I wanted to release something, you know, because it's been in development for about a year and a half now. Yeah. You know, and um, it'll be at the Garden State Film Festival uh, on April 2nd in Atlantic City at the Claridge Hotel. And cool. we have some great actors. Uh, Charles S. Dutton, Emmy uh, winner, uh, is the lead. Mark Bukowski uh, is another lead. And uh, Valerie Bauer, Karen Giordano is uh, um, a... Um, a nun. <laughs> nun. She's a nun. She does a hell of a job. I Listen. mean, uh, when I cast these two actors here, it was uh, it was a blessing that I found them. I uh, I went to see a play at the actor studio, and Mark invited me to a play that he wrote. He's a wonderful playwright, uh, and Karen blew me away uh, in her character. I knew she would be the perfect sister Teresa character in my film. Uh, the film is about a holy man tormented by his demons, you uh -huh. know, and it's good versus evil and um, a lot of interesting special effects, soundtrack, wonderful acting. By and this it. is out of the box for you because this is a supernatural First film, supernatural right? film I, yeah. I, I wrote, I'm um, producing. Uh, the first one it was Sicilian Tale. You had us on here for the Red Corvette a couple uh -huh. of years ago. And we're, we're having a blast with it. It's so many different makeup artists, um, two editors. A lot of um, special effects, visual effects artists, yeah. uh, and um, takes a lot to edit th that stuff. You it's know? not an edit. I know when I, when I saw you were doing that, I saw the graphic work. It's crazy. It, it's, it's really nuts. It's really interesting. Frame Especially by frame, time intensive, and for everything. an independent film with a budget, that's yeah. where all your money's probably going to is the editing. At least half of my budget went to this 30 minutes so far. Mm -hmm. But we do plan on finishing this feature, and we're really excited. Now, Karen and Mark, they're no strangers to the business. Why don't no you guys way. talk about some of the stuff you did in the past? Uh, well, um, I came off uh, two years on Boardwalk Empire. Uh -huh. And um, I'm on uh, the current season of House of Cards. And I was on Blind Spot this past week. Cool. Um, I got a feature coming out called The Body Tree uh, this summer with Costa Ronan from The Americans. Um, on the writing side, I'm, you know, I'm a playwright. I'm a screenwriter, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm doing all that. It's good to be back in Staten Island because I shot Boardwalk here for two years. Yeah, and now, what was your character's name? Paul Sigorsky. Because I was looking at sort of picture, you look totally different. Yeah, <laughs> well, I look older. They age me. you up. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. If, if you know the show, the guy that uh, wore the, the mask, the Jack Houston, yeah. uh, he marries my daughter. I'm a drunk. I make his life okay. miserable. That was a great, you know. great show. I love Boardwalk great. Empire. It's great. It's amazing. I mean, that was the next yeah. best thing from The Sopranos. Yeah, well, it's the same people. Same yeah. people, yeah. And they're currently doing vinyl, mm -hmm. which is yeah. another great show. Vinyl's good too. Yeah, oh, fantastic. So. But Frank got me the script, and I read it, and you know, it was just fascinating. You know, you know, uh, the war between the spirit and the flesh, and demons and angels. You said you went to Catholic school. I went to Catholic school for twelve years. Oh, God. How could I resist? Right? <laughs> you know. It's tough. Yeah. I went to Saint Edmunds in Brooklyn. So, hope yeah. one. Of, yeah, hope one of the nuns are watching right now. <laughs> But I'm a cactus school boy. I got my cross on, so yeah, just joking. So Karen, what well, you, you called your dentist for a head injury, so you must have went to cactus school. <laughs> <laughs> Karen, talk a little about your career. Uh, well, um, <coughs> I'm working on this play that Mark wrote, Vessie Street. We've been workshopping it at the Actors Studio for over a year now, and we're ready to. That that's like my heart project. Cool. But I a uh, film that I did last year is going to be. Um, I, I shot it in Greece. It's called City of a Dead Woman, where I also played a nun, mm. <laughs> which is really weird. <laughs> um, I wish the nuns looked like <laughs> you when I was in school. <laughs> I bet you say that's all Forget the nuns that it. come on the show. <laughs> um, I care for them. 
That, yeah, that's going, but it's a European release. We shot it in Greece, and um, I'm just, I'm just really excited to see Frank, you know, fulfill this this vision mm -hmm. and to continue work on it, uh, for sure. Out of all the other producers you worked with, how was it, Frank, working with? He's just like a regular neighborhood no, guy, No, Frank right? was great. Frank was like working with family. It's like family. He was fantastic, and a very. Um, he was the kind of uh, director that really gave me so much space to bring in my own idea, too. And I really appreciated that. Yeah, because you had some emotional scenes in there. I make it personal. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, I make it personal. And I know you, too. You played Father... Who was it? Father Tom? Yeah. Father Tom. You had some emotional scenes yourself. Intense. Yeah. To yeah. say the least. Um, yeah. How do yeah. you prepare? Well, um, you know, I uh, have a lot of things from my own life that I can call upon. You know, I've never been possessed by the devil, but I was possessed by addiction. You know, I got you. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of, I mean, sometimes when you're playing certain characters, things are like exaggerated, but you could find a piece of your own life and just kind of turn up the volume, mm -hmm. you know? So, you just gotta be open, you well, know? Good luck with everything. Plus, 12 yeah. years of Catholic school helps. <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know how people survive it, you know? Uh -huh. Now, Frank, uh, talk about some of the other actors that are in it, friends of ours. <coughs> well, like I said, uh, we have Charles Dutton, mm -hmm. we have Vinny Vella, your buddy Vinny's yeah, in it, Vinny, Artie Vinny. Pasquale. Artie's another one of my Steve good buddies. Steve Stanilis. Steve's another one. <laughs> uh, Joe Cernio, good New Jersey actor. Um, Brian Anthony Wilson, a fantastic actor out of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Great uh, film and theater um, actor. Victoria Gates, another, just a great ensemble of actors, you know, that did their homework mm -hmm. and made my job a lot easier. Um, the main characters, Mark and Charles, I mean, Mark took, you know, I had a vision of Father Tom, you know, um, you take the holy man, the good of all good, and then you have him being possessed, so, but he took, he, he took that character to another level, mm -hmm. which when I was on set, before I called cut, I was like amazed, me and, me and my AD, we were like, did you see that? Yeah, we, we got it, we got it, but Mark, Mark was, he, he's a fantastic actor, and I, I can't wait to continue working on this project and hopefully some uh, other projects in the future. Well, you brought the you brought the sizzle reel, right? Yeah, I got a little teaser can, here. Can we share it with the audience? Yeah, I'll shoot it. Yeah. All right, control room. Let's roll. So tell me, Dan, are you still having the nightmares? Believe it or not. I wake up terrified and frightened and helpless. I too wake up terrified and helpless sometimes. Free him from this torment he's been chosen to bear. And reach heaven, praise and love God with you forever. Amen. <laughs> Nice. Now I know what you're talking about with the makeup. There's some cool stuff in there. There's, yeah, that's that's not even. That, there's a lot of stuff in there. Well, I worked with uh, four different makeup artists. Sonia Century was my key artist. Uh, Robert Bizzik did a great job, and he was my key editor. Now listen, before we go, it's almost your time, and I like to have you two guys on the on the show in the future separately. Sure. Where could people find all of these on the internet if people want to check your stuff out, follow you? Well, um, you could Google my name. <laughs> <laughs> Google. Yeah, IMDb. I mean, you got a IMDb. website? Yeah, IMDb. Okay, yeah. you're all on the IMDb. Okay. Yeah. 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 Not a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Frankie, you can see him on any uh, a post office bulletin board, right? Yeah. <laughs> Most wanted. <laughs> no, only kidding. Well, listen, guys, thank you so much for being part of the show. Thank I, I you. Thank you, John. It. I appreciate thank it. Hang thank out you with everybody. us a little while. Yeah. All right, everybody, the crew for ventilation. Yeah.
Yes. 